this is a good representation of the back of the boat and some of the internal parts so I've uh, we're working on making this arch part for the roof I'm not going to have a door and I'm not going to have these back windows and these back um, I'm going to have it all open it's just going to be a three-sided uh, boat and we're concentrating on making this now subsequently since I'm not going to have a um, a back wall um, I have to go deviate from the plans to make this curved arched roof I'm going to have to uh, make a make a, an arch beam so what I've done is uh, rip this Douglas fir uh, one inch thick and it's one and a half inches wide and um, I'll put two of them together with these one and a half inch blocks and space it out with this spacer and sandwich it together gluing them and make a beam Here's the first one in progress. I seen this on YouTube, um, people making um, greenhouses, just these uh, arches uh, to uh, have plastic cover over their greenhouse. I thought it was a good idea and I figured it would be good for the boat um, since I'm gonna need some more support than what the plans call for beams. Um, how much weight will this uh, hold? I have no idea. I'm not a structural engineer, but uh, there's not going to be any reason for anybody to go on top of the roof. It's only going to be quarter inch thick roof anyway. Uh, and here's the panels right here. Uh, it's relatively thin. It's not really meant to uh, put any weight on there at all. The uh, arch has a very gentle slope to it, and you didn't want to make it too dramatic. It just wouldn't look proper. So uh, what I ended up uh, getting is a uh, 12 to 1 pitch. That's every 12 inches, it drops an inch, which is a very gentle curve. Um, basically only from center, four inches higher than being a flat roof. There's a nice picture of my uh, captain's chair. I got two of those chairs. And uh, with a nice pedestal, they move forward and back. Um, anyway... Uh, I finished up my two front panels, uh, totally redesigned my uh, old ones, my templates have been put off to the side, and I'm telling you, the, that was the best thing I could have ever done, was make templates and get it adjusted close, and then make up originals with the final being, um, you know, the, the uh, perfect. In fact, here are the windows. Um... I took them out from out my screen house. They're uh, hatch type windows. They're hinged. They'll flip out and you have little hole, like little, uh, they're not uh, gas filled struts, but you just push out the window and, uh, and then screw the knob and they'll stay in place. And there's two of those arms to hold it in place. Um, I had a little bit of a learning curve on how to, uh, to put them installed. Um, this is a flange that comes off uh, and held by many screws into the window. Matter of fact, you could see on this one here, some of the screws. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, put this in to the wood and uh, bond it and uh, seal it in there. And, um, and then when ready, I can, I'll just mount the, uh, the window in place. It'll fit right in place. There won't be any, any uh, fumbling around or you know, it'll just go right in. But uh, that was a big learning curve on how I even was going to get the uh, windows to fit into the plywood. I thought it was going to sam this the flange was going to sandwich the plywood, but well, such is not the case. When I really found out more about these windows, come to find out, there's a uh, a rubber uh, a seal, rubber gasket that goes that's supposed to go into this. Uh, obviously, if I could find that, I'll I'll purchase purchase it if it's not too expensive but uh you know it's like anything else it's gonna cost an arm and a leg and uh i'll probably end up just 
you know, put caulking in there and, and call it a day. So, And I have to say, this is the joy of uh, building your own boat because you could customize it any which way you want. Uh, me making these uh, braces and arches and beams uh, that's customizing what I like. I, I don't feel the need for any back door or a wall in the rear aft of the cabin because I'm not going to air condition it. It's just, you know, I live here in Florida. The boat will always be here in Florida. It's a Florida boat. So I want to be protected from the elements like wind and rain and sun. But I don't want to be totally isolated where I'm, you know, inside a cabin, if you all know what I mean. You see this boat go into the water? Please uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and, you know, hit that notification button. So, this is James, James Popill.